Different this year for McDaniel College football, both on the field and off. The green tear has gone through quite the makeover in recent months. Yeah, and it's one that could benefit them all. WMER 2 News' Sean Stepner is in Westminster tonight with more. Well, this was far from your typical offseason for the McDaniel College football team. You could say that over the past couple of months, they've gone up-tempo off the field. This is a clean slate. We got new coaches. We got some familiar faces. But at the end of the day, here we go. Let's 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 go. We're just let's starting go. a rebrand. Positive. Let's go. Let's go. Positive. Let's go. And Positive. David Sarton is leading it. Sarton is your interim head coach of the Green Terror. Promoted in early June after former head coach Demarcus White resigned, Sarton was previously McDaniel's offensive line coach. All of a sudden, that's improvement. He was in charge of it all and had to arrange almost an entirely new staff. Was on that horn. We're with Coach Johnson. It's been exciting. It's been fun. It's been nerve-wracking, kind of all the emotions every single day. But the most important part is, I think once I got to camp, it became old hat. Players are already embracing Sarton's style. Well, I feel like he's going to bring more fun to it. Make sure everybody's relaxed for practices, game days, morning lists, everything, because. That's what we need around here. Defensive lineman Mike Cunningham is one of several returners to a team that went 3-7 and seven last year. Starting quarterback Eric Grinwis is another, along with top receiver Hunter Sigler. Each player out here is hungry to have a winning season, and the culture out here is a lot different now. From where we left off last season, like it's a lot better. But this preseason camp is nothing for Sigler after what happened earlier this week. He was right in the middle of the storm that ripped through Westminster on Monday night. I was coming right down 140 actually, where all the uh, electrical came down and uh, it was pretty scary honestly. Me and my mom were in the car, the car is shaking, like yeah, sideways rain. Fortunately they made it through okay, as did the rest of his teammates who now turned all of their attention to week one. Go, another day baby, another day. The Green Terror opened their season on Friday, September 1st at Catholic. In Westminster, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.